Hey everyone, Dr. Ray Marquez here, your local chiropractor at Back Pain Relief Center. Uh, today is April 17th, and this is our Monday edition of Dr. Ray TV. Um, today I'd like to talk to everyone a little bit about chronic pain disorders. And, um, you know, there's quite a few problems out there, which is too bad to hear. But, you know, things like degenerative joint disease, something I see all the time. Fibromyalgia, I'm seeing it more and more. Um, as time goes by, um, things like lupus, um, AS, rheumatoid arthritis. There's a lot of things out there that can really wear you out and begin to make your life miserable. So let's talk about managing them a little bit today. So number one, if you have one of these, and especially one that I'm familiar with a lot is fibro um, and degenerative joint disease, they're very, very difficult to manage. And... Um, can be very frustrating for the patients and many times these things go on and on for extended periods of time. The patient doesn't really get the answers that they want and all they're trying to do is feel better and they're just having a difficult time getting there. So first thing you have to realize that when you when you find out that you have something like this, um, it becomes a management issue. And what I mean by that Many times um, we just don't have a great answer for you and they're not 100% curable. Especially when we talk about like AS or ankylosing spondylitis and rheumatoid, things like that. They're blood-borne um, problems uh, or systemic problems that there's not really a cure for it, but there's medicine and therapy and things like that to help manage it. Um, so what you need to do is many times is find a good team of doctors to help you get to the point that is acceptable for you, meaning that... Um, you want to try to get to a point where you can at least function and feel a little better from day to day without your pain being a constant worry uh, on the back of your mind. So um, real important to find a group of doctors. So one thing, you know, a lot of times um, many patients to so say it's one like rheumatoid or, or AS or something like that, or even with fibro, they go to the rheumatologist, which is the person to go to, but they only see one doctor and they have one set of eyes on them and, um, Many times there's other things that other practitioners can uh, help with to help you get to that better spot. And sometimes um, just medicine alone isn't the answer. And if you have it, you, you probably know that. Even with our fibro patients, they put them on Lyrica or some other things, and it really gets them better, but not 100%. So um, you have to look at a different different ways to approach it. So I'm always big on getting a team of doctors to help pass, patients manage their pain. And, and it's just that management. and. What do I mean by team of doctors? So say maybe you're seeing your rheumatologist and that's one doctor. Maybe you're seeing a chiropractor. Um, maybe you're seeing a physical therapist. Maybe you're seeing a pain management doctor. Um, maybe you're seeing your primary once a month. So you have to find what works well for you because every person's body is different and everyone responds to other things. Me being a chiropractor, of course, I'm going to think that I can do the best for everyone. But I, am, um, I know that that's not always... Uh, not always possible. Um, I am going to provide one aspect of care for the patient. I think it helps out a lot. Um, I'm in, under no illusion that it's going to cure things. And th let's get right to that part. You know, I'm not being a chiropractor here saying that, hey, I'm going to cure AS. I'm going to cure fibro um, by no means. But I'm going to help you manage it um, and help you function and feel a little better. Because I do believe that every single person out there, no matter what they have, has the ability to improve. Even if it's on a small scale up to a large scale, everyone can improve. So, um, you know, and, and back to some of these things, I, I do think some of these disorders do warrant proper medication and appropriate medication, things that are right for you. And that's really where you're going to get your specialist, whether it's your primary, the rheumatologist, the orthopedic, the pain management doctor, find out what works for your chemistry, what works for your body and helps you get to a little less of a pain level. Um, I do believe bringing in chiropractic care to help the body function better. So let's let's just take let's take AS for an example. So ankylosing spondylitis is a degenerative uh, disorder that attacks the spine and the pelvis and the joints, hands, knees, hips, I think, and it actually fuses them together. So it's a process that you want to slow down as much as possible. And how would chiropractic care help that? Well, my job there in conjunction with your rheumatologist would be to try to loosen the muscle tone up of all of all your muscles. Try to get less compressions to the joints in your spine 
and in your extremities. So less pressure on them so they function better. They don't adhese as quickly. They don't build up enough as much fibrous tissue buildup or collagen in the joints and in the muscles. So we keep range of motion working. We stop the compression because many times with these disorders like AS and rheumatoid and fibro, along with the disorder itself, the joints start to degenerate at a faster speed. They put pressure on the discs, on the nerves, and then we add in this other component of a, a spinal disorder. So my job would be to help manage the pain in allowing the joints to function that the way they were supposed to, to decrease compression, increase range of motion, e increase function, and decrease um, inflammation, all to help you um, just move around a little better. And if my patients that have these disorders, or when my patients see me with these disorders, we don't put them on these long-term treatment plans. They come on in, hey Debbie, how's it going? Good afternoon. They come on in and um, they come as much as they want and as much as it makes them feel better. And some people will come see me two, three times a week. Some people will see me once every six weeks. And really, whatever works well for you because many times a chiropractic treatment can decrease the muscle tone, decrease the compression on the joints, increase your range of motion, get you to function and feel a little better. And it can be one tool or one aspect of the management of your pain. Again, always follow the directions of your, spe uh, your specialist, whoever is managing your, your, your primary pain. Um, there's many different kinds of conservative treatment out there. Conservative um, treatment meaning chiropractic. You know, we're not cutting you. We're not um, doing surgery on you. We're helping you um, function uh, naturally for that matter. Um, so chiropractic care. Um, there's procedures that we do called manipulation under anesthesia. Many times that helps patients function and feel better to a greater level when they have one of these chronic disorders. Um, there's things out there like whole body cryotherapy, which I've been reading a lot lately, where they immerse your whole body in this cold tank and it decreases your body temperature and it helps um, decrease inflammation, it helps cell repair, all kinds of good things I hear about. It. Infrared sauna, I hear a lot of good stuff about it, a lot of research out there where you're sitting in a sauna where you heat your whole body up, use these infrared lights and it gets your body to heal faster and feel better. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Um, I have a couple friends that have them and I use it whenever I get the chance. You know, always a fan of physical therapy. Get that body to decrease tone, get the body to work correctly, get strengthen your core. A lot of good things that physical therapists can add to it. Um, something uh, like acupuncture. You know, I've never had it done personally myself, but I know it's been around for a long, long time, um, longer than um, allopathic medicine. So there's got to be something to it. You know, give it a shot. Maybe it works for you. Um, meditation. I'm a big fan. I meditate every single day, and it absolutely can help you manage your pain. Um, going to church and praying helps, you know, everything works. So conservative treatment, if you have one of these chronic disorders, don't be afraid of conservative treatment. Find one that works well for you, whether it's chiropractic care, physical therapy, acupuncture, cryotherapy. Find something that helps in conjunction with seeing your specialist. All right, I hope that helps. If anyone out there is uh, suffering from one of these disorders, whether it's fibromyalgia, um, degenerative joint disease, um, lupus, things like that, I may be able to help. Can't make any guarantees, but I've been doing this a long time and it seems like everyone responds well to it and um, can gain a little bit of sanity back into life by functioning and feeling a little better. All right, I hope that helps everyone. I know it's a short talk. Um, all this week we're going to go over chronic pain disorders and how um, I can help and our doctors at Back Pain Relief Center and how it may help you function and feel better. Um, if you're down here in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, um, you can reach me at MyrtleBeachWalkInCairo.com. Again, that's MyrtleBeachWalkInCairo.com. If you're up in New Jersey, um, in Vineland, it's BackPainRC.com. Again, BackPainRC.com. All right, I hope all is well. It's a beautiful day out there. Get out there and enjoy uh, our last few hours here. And um, join us tomorrow at 5 o'clock for Dr. Ray TV. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.